it's nice to have warm weather again. So as you recall, I built this flume a couple years ago, and it's not quite done yet. But uh, this box back here on the end was designed to have the intake of my ram pump so I can water the garden and everything else I have up here. So today, I went to the hardware store and got some pipe and I uh, couldn't remember how long the flume was from this uh, box, so I just got 50 feet. So I think I'll have to go back and get some more later. But I thought today we would work on getting the intake ready and mount some of these pipes here on the flume. So let's get started. So I've kind of been lost on what to do with the uh, uh, box here. And I was thinking originally put some uh, rubber in there and make a little bowl, but that didn't work out so well. I think what I'm going to try now is simply uh, caulking this box shut and use that uh, as the, uh, the container for now. And I'll probably have to come back later and replace this box with a more permanent solution, a more uh, waterproof solution at least. So let me see if I can get this rubber out of here so I can uh, waterproof this in. I've got a uh, shower drain that I use to connect these two pieces of the rubber. So I'm going to see if I can get that unscrewed here. Woo, there's a mouse in there. <laughs> well, I have news for Mr. Mouse. He's about to get evicted. Two of them. Ah! Three of them. <laughs> well, that mouse is going for a swim. <laughs> so you may have just realized that I'm afraid of mice. I can usually handle snakes and spiders and maybe even clowns, but when it comes to uh, dealing with a bunch of mice, it's not my favorite thing. They m could not have been comfortable in here. It's so wet. So the first thing that this silicone says is make sure the surface is clean and dry. Pretty sure that's not us. So. I'm gonna use some of this Porta John paper to get this cleaned out some. Maybe. Write in the comments below if you're afraid of mice, or at least just don't want them on you. I mean, we used to have rats growing up as pets, but you know where they came from and where they've been <laughs> as far as they were domesticated and not sitting out here in the woods collecting who knows what kind of diseases. I don't know. They've just never been my favorite. I would also love to hear if you've got some ideas on how to make this setup work better because I've been kind of brainstorming a little bit over the past year or two and just never really have thought of a good idea for this whole uh, box intake coming off the flume. So just write down in the comments what you think would work well here. So I don't think that submerging these decking boards is going to be a very permanent solution. So while this box is drying out some, let's install this other pipe. Now I'm going to use a one inch pump for my system because sometimes in the uh, summertime my creek drops from 50, uh, 150 gallons a minute to maybe even down to 30. So the one inch pump I think will work a lot better in those uh, low flow times. If I do want to increase my pumping potential I could just put a, uh, a one and a quarter next to this and uh, swap out between the different pumps. But So I got some of this plumber's tape, which is just a metal uh, flexible piece here. And I thought I would just wrap it around 
the pipe and then uh, screw it into this uh, 2x4 here. So I'm going to hopefully be able to bend these out and break them. takes a while. All right, so I got that one loose. And I just thought I would use a, uh, a flexible tube to go from the box to the pipe. So I'm just gonna kind of come out here, maybe foot and a half and get this uh, screwed down. So get this here. Think about right here would be good. Okay. <laughs> it's gonna be a little awkward until I get high enough to see under here. I might go down and move to the next spot real quick to kind of get this pipe up. I looked to see if I had any pipe cement in the car and uh, it's dried out or gone bad. So I'm gonna have to just stick these in here for now and later I can come back and uh, glue them in if I need to. But for now, we'll at least just get it here and in place. Kind of cleaned out a little. I'm excited to have a uh, more permanent installation of a ram pump up here at the property because I've got a lot of tests I want to run and it's annoying having the uh, pipe, especially that black uh, flex pipe, is uh, forever uh, having problems because it's got some holes in it. And if you've ever used a ram pump, you know that holes in a drive pipe just kill your efficiency or even just stop the pump altogether. Now to make the descent down to the creek, I've got some 45s here. I'm just gonna stick on the end of this pipe. And then I'm gonna take the other pipe and just angle it down here. I may have to cut, yeah, I need to cut about one foot off down there, it looks like. Maybe even, we'll start with six inches and then see where we go from there. I trimmed a little off the end here. Hopefully it'll make this uh, angle really well. I think that's pretty good. So I'm gonna have to add a little bit of uh, support down here to get this connected. Let me show you what I mean here. So, I want the pipe to have uh, support on that post there as it goes down to connect to the pump. And there's a bit of a bend. I may trim just a little bit more off the end down there. So because the gap down here between the post and the pipe is about uh, four or five inches, I got a plan to make a, uh, a little uh, jig here if that's the right term. And it's going to basically extend out a little bit to get this screwed in. So what I've got is a 4x4 and a 2x4 that I'm going to uh, screw together here. 
My battery's almost dead, so I hope I get done in time. I swapped out with the other one. Maybe I'm not almost dead. There we go. And now, I'm gonna screw this piece here to that other board and get it uh, that distance out away from those legs some. I think about right there to do it. That should do it. Now, in order to get this pipe back to uh, straight, I've got a second 45 here that I'm gonna place at the bottom. And that gets it ready for the pump down there. So we'll be good to go. Let's take a look at what we have so far. Down here at the bottom, got that 45 and anchored down there. Comes up here to another 45. And it's got uh, all these various anchors in here. And shoots along here. Now I may have to come back and put a few more anchors in here uh, so it doesn't jump up and down. Um, so, But I think for the most part, it's pretty well tied in here. So now we just gotta work on the box. Well, I've given this about four hours to dry, and it's not totally dry yet, but I figured I'd go ahead and put the silicone in here, see uh, what we get out of it. don't have anything to bust this cap with. Okay, let's try that again. I used a stick to uh, pop the seal in there. So I'm just reaching down here. I'm going to uh, just put a bunch of this sealant in here. And I'll probably just use a finger to get it all into place. How is the shot of the back of my arm? Ha, ha, ha. 